What is up guys? It's currently July 5th, 2018 and it's about 7 in the morning right now. I just got done eating some Tostitos corn chips with queso at 7 in the morning because I did not get any sleep last night. So when you get a lack of sleep, um, you're going to make some bad decisions. Uh, so we're off to a good start, aren't we? Uh, I got coffee going right now, so hopefully that'll get me back on track for the day. But anyways, welcome to Where Ball Happens, where we talk about the crazy and the not-so-crazy of the NBA at the moment. Now, let's just go over a few topics we have for, uh, July, for July 5th, 2018. So, first topic is where do the Thunder ranked in the stack west? Well... Considering that LeBron just joined the Lakers and that Kawhi will either stay with the Spurs for one more season or get traded to another West team, most likely, I'd say the Thunder rank pretty low. They're, they're definitely not out of the playoffs. And since the Pelicans just took a shot and lost to Marcus Cousins joining the Warriors, even if he didn't join the Warriors, the Warriors would still be the top team in the West anyways. So, um, there's not much of a change going on there. When it comes to the Thunder, they still have Paul George, Russell Westbrook, and Carmelo Anthony. They have Steven Adams. They signed, um, what was his name? Jeremy Grant? I don't think that was his name. Someone tell me his name. I know they have um, a very young player. I believe his name is Jerry, Jeremy Grant. I, I can be wrong about that. I'd say Thunder rank between the 6th and 8th spot in the stacked West. Considering the Warriors just got better, the Spurs, even without Kawhi, were hovering between the 3rd and the 6th spot all season, even without Kawhi Leonard. The Lakers definitely are a top 4 team in the Western Conference, and honestly, I don't see the Thunder taking down the Lakers especially with LeBron on their team. The spirit that LeBron brings to a team. You know, if he could do it with the Cavs, then he can do it with the Lakers. And I do not doubt his ability. So, that's where the Thunder rank in the West. The second topic is, should the Celtics break up core for Kawhi? Now, that's a very stupid question because you don't need they don't need to break up their core for Kawhi. What is their core? Is I'm assuming by their core they mean Kyrie Irving, Gordon Hayward, Al Horford, uh, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, and Jason Tatum. Uh, and Terry Rozier, of course. He had a big role in last season. But if you're going to trade for Kawhi Leonard, your team's going to get stronger, especially if you're the Celtics. The Celtics could just trade Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and then maybe a draft pick or two to the Spurs, and the Spurs will, will take it. They're gonna take it. You know, you see, you see them. You see the Spurs currently asking Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and then two uh, first-round picks in exchange for Kawhi Leonard, which it doesn't look like they're gonna get that because, in my opinion, it's a little too much. But if they made a deal with the Celtics and traded Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, and then maybe one one first-round future draft pick, maybe two. Spurs are going to take it. You have Kawhi Leonard. You now have a big three of Gordon Hayward, Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard. You still have Terry Rozier. You still have Marcus Smart. And you still have Al Horford. I know if I was the Spurs, I would take that. Just because of the of the sheer potential that Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum have. Make that deal in a heartbeat. Even though Kawhi is going to join the Lakers anyways. You know, we'll see how that goes. Next topic of the day. A couple of days ago, we did hear about DeMarcus Cousins joining the Warriors. And there's a couple of details that have come up since then. Cousins had went on record as saying that he prepared for this move of joining the Warriors. He said he, said he thought about it for a while. Uh, you know, obviously things weren't perfect with the Pelicans. Thus making him join the Warriors. I'm operating under Chris Moves theory right now of why DeMarcus Cousins joined the Warriors is because 
uh, the Pelicans signed Julius Randle and DeMarcus Cousins um, being the hothead that he that he is did not like that and so he made an irrational decision in the moment of anger and joined the Warriors so everyone can suffer with him that's Chris Moves theory I recommend go watching uh, going and watching his video to get the whole thing I'm sure he explains it a lot better than a guy with with lack of sleep who just got done eating Tostitos corn chips with queso and then along with the cousins uh, updates there was another report analyst by the, who goes by the name of Carl said that cousins brings negative energy you know wherever he is and I don't I don't necessarily believe that I don't believe he brings ne negative energy I believe he is a hothead he has anger issues it could be easy to get under his skin doesn't matter if you're an opponent or a teammate you know as long as as long as you support I feel like as long as you support him if he's on your team he will not bring negative energy to uh, anger doesn't always bring negative energy I understand it's associated with negative energy and it's true that anger can bring a lot of negative energy but anger can also bring passion anger brings action and having anger and when it's applied correctly will not bring negative energy but you know obviously with DeMarcus Cousins we never know because we don't know the guy personally so you know it looked like he was doing great with the Pelicans obviously with the Kings that their franchise was just a mess when he was there so I mean Cousins has been climbing the ranks in terms of teams that he's been joining he went from you know Sacramento Kings who hasn't who didn't make the playoffs once when he was there to the Pelicans for a season and a half total he got there uh, last last season played a little bit not a whole lot got traded there then plays all of this season goes down he doesn't he doesn't play all of this season he goes down with an injury like midway a little a little further down midway through the season and then he's just done. But the Pelicans do make the playoffs. And unfortunately, he just was not a part of that. Now he's with the Warriors. So it looked like he was just climbing the ranks of each team. Now it looks like, you know, they're shooing for for another championship. But we're going to see how it goes. Uh, it's no guarantee. But then again, you're talking about the Warriors. Uh, and I, I talk about this a lot further. Go see my God lineup video but those are our topics for july for july 5th 2018 so this is where ball happens i will see you guys in the next video